Hello everyone, you are watching Marco Varius, and I am playing The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, also known as, objectively, the best video game ever made. So, I just want to thank you real quick for clicking on this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching me play. Alright, so we got the intro, so help me. Please help me, I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aghanim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Marco, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Guess we'll see the uncle later. So, you gotta grab the chest. Yeah. You got the lamp. Very good first item to have. I'm sure it'll come in handy later. Well, obviously, I know. But I always like to have fun every time I play through this game. Uh, you gotta go in the mindset that it's your first time ever playing. So you get that sense of wonder. Uh, but it's also fun to know where everything is. And just have fun collecting it. I can play through this game, like, over and over again. I play it at least two, three times every year. Never get bored of it. And there's also the randomizers too. But uh, it never hurts to go back and do a good old fashioned vanilla uh, run through of the game. So we're going through the secret entrance into the castle's basement. I always like the slushy sound the shallow water makes when you walk through it. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Oh no, our uncle. Uh, Marco, I didn't want you to be involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus the power in the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Marco, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is yours. <clears throat> it's too late. Well, R.I.P. Uncle. Thanks for the sword and shield. Moving along. The old stint technique. Make short work of these guards. Mm -hmm. Let's get this chest. A rupee of the color blue. How nice. Got a couple of magic bits too. We'll make our way to the castle to find Zelda in the dungeon. Uh, it's also very important every time you play this game to uh, use the bushes <laughs> to kill the guards out front. Uh, I think part of the fun of Zelda is just how you can be resourceful in so many different ways. Uh, this game definitely embodies that as it took the formula from the very first Legend of Zelda and just expanded in every direction tenfold, making it uh, definitely the most superior game ever made. And no, I'm not trying to throw shade at Zelda 2, because that game gets, like, enough of it. In fact, I'm actually a big fan of Zelda 2. I'd say next to this, Zelda 2 would probably be my second favorite to play through over and over again. Uh, you know, not, not my second favorite in general, uh, but it's close. It's just fun to play through it. Uh, it's pretty short, you know? Uh, yeah. So moving on. We're coming up to my favorite room in the entire game, uh, which would be when you move along the places with the ledges and you can knock the guards off. When I was a little kid, that was the funniest thing in the entire world, uh, just knocking them over. You know, I can't not hit every guard off the ledge too, uh, which is why I never got into speedrunning this game. And it's also very important to hit the first one from the back like that. Yeah. He fell. Okay, and there's pots. Always use the pots to knock them off. I mean, why not, right? Being resourceful. All right, watch out for this dude. He's at an awkward angle, so yeah. You know, sometimes it's easier just to get that guy with your sword. Uh, but you know, it's fun to try your fancy footwork, so to speak. 
right? And these green guards. Oh. You know, when I first played this game, well, when I was a young child playing this game, the guards always scared me, you know? They just charge at you. Uh, you just gotta remember to have the courage, though, and embody the spirit of Link. And what's fascinating uh, about this room is when the guard drops a key, the door opens at the same time. And I like to <laughs> try to mix up the jingles that both things, sound effects that both of them make to kind of like combine to one because they kind of sound similar at different pitches and they could easily substitute one another. And we got the boomerang, which is of course an iconic item from Zelda. Uh, usually it's what I keep equipped most of the time just because you don't want to waste arrows, or bombs, etc. Uh, but I would always emphasize the importance of using as many of the items as you can in this game as often as possible. It just makes it a lot more fun. Uh, I'd like to think that Link would have fun wielding all those things, you know, boomerangs, ice rods, hook shots, etc, etc. Now we got the Ball and Chain Knight, which I guess is technically the first boss of the game. A couple pots always make short work of him. Or you could always play the south route and keep your distance and you know, just keep hucking your boomerang at him. He won't touch you. It'll just take a while. Now we got this key so we can save Zelda. Pretty darn cool. Okay. But before you do, it's also very important. Always open that treasure chest before you speak to her. Thank you, Marco. I had a feeling you were getting close. Mm -hmm. Marco, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Well, it's pretty uh, black and white there, isn't it, Zelda? All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. All right, now we begin the escort mission. Pretty darn neat, I guess. You know, I always thought it was fun how Zelda follows you around. Uh, <clears throat> and it's also fun to do the exploration glitch <laughs> and just like see all the different places you can take her and what effects it has on the game. Okay, we will make our escape, Zelda. You just lead the way. I will, well, I'll lead the way, but you know what I mean. Those guards down there, hey. Hey, jerks. <laughs> we gonna boomerang him in the back? Yeah! That ought to learn him. So we call the double tap. Take that. Oh, we got boomeranged again. Yes. So neat how it just stuns everything, you know? Always handy. Especially early game. And if you noticed when we entered the castle, I took the left path. I always take the left path. And I don't know why, but on the way out, you have to take the right path. You know, it's a full circle. Yes. The secret passage is in the throne room that leads to Sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. Yeah. Old men are usually uh, pretty helpful in Zelda, aren't they? Gotta see if we can get both these guards at the same time. Take that. Yes. And that. Sweet. He dropped a rupee. And also, what's very important, you gotta cut every single curtain in this room. It's for good luck. You know, it's uh, pretty interesting how you can... You know, this is an early uh, Super Nintendo game, so the fact that you can alter like what part of the scenery looks like was always something I found quite interesting. That ornamental shelf, blah, 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 we can move it. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Heave ho, heave ho. I always thought it'd be cool too if you could use one of those big swords off the ornamental shelf. Looks a lot stronger than the uh, general fighter sword that Link starts with, at least, you know? This part's fun too, you know, I like to use the lamp and light the torches. Even if I already know the way, it's just fun. I can't not do like every little bit of the tutorial every time I play this game. You know, are you the same way? Or is it just me? You know, we are creatures of habit after all. Oh, 
totally smoke that mousy with that pot. We are moving into uh, this room here, which has a bunch of snakes. Snakes in the Zelda series, of course, are called ropes. Well, uh, what I find interesting is in the game Mother 3, there is a snake who's also a rope. He's called the Rope Snake. In my mind, that is a full circle, coming full circle of sorts in an interesting way. Uh, here's a little fact about me, as I say, of all time, this is definitely my favorite video game, but second favorite game of all time is Mother 3. Uh, it's a very close second. If you haven't played Mother 3, you definitely should check out the fan translation patch and, you know, just let it rip. It's definitely the best story ever told. Almost as good as a story as linked to the past, at least. <laughs> All right. Moving on now, we gotta go through these icky sewers. Yeah. Yeah, again, that shallow water, you know, it's just... It is fun to walk through. Yes. Take that, you keys. Oh, psych. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta find the mouse that has the keys. Got it. Don't forget to light the way on the way out. Boom. And like, how many people when they were little just thought somehow you could get the bombs to get to those two rooms, uh, get to that wall early? You know, like, there just had to be a way. Uh, but naturally, of course, you can't get bombs till after you've escaped with uh, the princess. This room usually gives some good money, eh? Yeah. It's pretty darn neat. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. There? Or there? Like you know, it's like, oh man, which one do I pull? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have to pull the lever to open the door. Press the A button and hold down on the control pad. So I guess that's kind of interesting how in a sneaky way, the game does tell you the correct answer, because it only gives you the instruction how to open it when you walk close to it. And as we can see, we'll pull the wrong side for fun, just to get these ropes down. Maybe some will give me money, and I'll be a little richer. I'll be a little richer. <laughs> Woo! Ah, just one roofie, though. And it looks like we've made it to Sanctuary. How about that? Princess Zelda! You are safe. Is this your doing, Marco? Why, yes it is. Yes, it was Marco who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Marco, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, Evil power will overwhelm this land before that happens, before it's too late. Destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that the mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary master sword. It is said village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe you can tell, maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map, but watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes. Well, that was a tough run around this heart container and that will be it for the escape and also the end of this video but thank you for listening to me go on and ramble while playing this game i hope you had fun and we will catch you next time as we make our way to the first dungeon